Hello viewers. Today we're looking at the top of the tundra and looking at the Prince of Rack where I keep my Zarge's dry boxes. And today I'm going to show you how I'm going to weld up a bracket which is going to keep the boxes uh, stable and won't require so much uh, strapping down. So on to the uh, well, here we have um, some 3 quarter inch 316L stainless steel, which I've cut and welded into corners. Well, gonna weld into corners right here to hold the Zarge's dry boxes. And this will slot under, connect. And then when I bolt that to the frame to the Prinsu, it'll be nice and neat and won't slide around. Because right now I have them strapped pretty tight. So next, I'm gonna show you some 316 stainless MIG welding. So today we're going to be using a Hobart handler set with 316L wire and we'll be using a Trimix gas which you can see right here to make up the gas. So that'll just make everything a lot easier to uh, get done with the 316 stainless and no rusting, no problems and uh, no other issues. <laughs> Got it all welded up. Just gonna mark some drill holes for mounting. That way uh, it'll be secure. And then when I slot in the Zarges, uh, it'll be nice and tight and won't slide around. So I don't have to crank the uh, straps to uh, 100 pounds. Okay, the rack is in. You can see that it's bolted up to the Prinsu. And in a few minutes, I'll have the uh, Sarge's back in. Okay, you can see the spacing from the side. And then the spacing from the front. All the way back through to the other 
dry box showing you know how the spacing is so uh, this won't slide around anymore and when I put the straps on it'll be nice and tight so thanks for watching uh, you'll see it together on the next video